Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video. Oh no, not another one of these cringy videos. I know, right? Okay, this is kind of different, so bear with. Um, I did talk about what I'm doing with Shiba Inu and uh, why I've invested and where I think it's gone. It's not one of those videos, all right? This is a completely different video. Uh, it is going to be focused around my investment, but I kind of want to share with you guys why I'm getting into it. What is my reason behind it? What I think about it and what I'm hoping to achieve. So before I get into it, let's start with the very beginning. The very first thing I want to point out is that I just randomly decided to go and try something else, right? So what I did about two months ago, two months, maybe a month and a half, something like that. I used some of my leftover money and uh, or spare money, whatever you want to call it, and bought me some Bitcoin. I had no intention at that point in time of becoming a crypto trader and buying stocks and stuff like that. I didn't really know this world. I always thought it was really complicated and stuff. And it is. It has its own complications, but I think it's a fun place to be. I really like it and I'm learning so much and I absolutely love the fact that I can learn a lot. I slightly digress there, but let's get back to where I'm at. So I bought in, I think I put in somewhere around... $350. I didn't expect anything. I just thought this was like an investment that maybe might yield some profit at some point. I didn't know anything about the crypto world, to be honest. And yes, I'm very late to the party. I know. All right. Jesus. Uh, going back to the story. About a month and a half, about a month ago, so after 30 days, that started to make a bit of a profit. Bitcoin made a move. And I actually ended up making, I think, 400-ish, uh, 400 $420. I'm trying to remember the numbers here. But then it started to dip again. So I then swapped out my Bitcoin for Ethereum because that was on the move. And I made some more money there. Then it started to dip. Went back and sold all my Ethereum and bought Bitcoin that again started to rise. Bottom line is I got to about $500. That just basically got me into it. Now, before, just as a little side note here, I was using the completely wrong platform for this and I was losing money on each transaction, a lot of it. But even so, I made a profit. So that got me thinking, well, maybe there's a way of doing this better. I'm actually enjoying this. I think and I wasn't following on the news. I don't know anything, didn't know anything. It's just me kind of looking at what the market value of the cryptocurrency that I was holding was, how far it had gone down, how how bad it looked, and then swapping between cryptocurrencies. Okay. And so that got me thinking, maybe there's something I can do here. Maybe there's actually room for good profit to be made here, which is good. You know, this is money I can spare. And if I can spare it and turn it, into something else and invest in myself or for the future better said then why the hell not right so i then started looking around kind of just reading things watching videos and you know eToro advert pops up on a video so i'm thinking to myself all right i'll give this a go so initially then i thought okay i'm gonna download eToro i'm gonna go into it yes i know not everybody uses eToro I'll get into that because it's kind of kind of a weird thing. So I looked into eToro. Now, one thing you can do with eToro here is you can copy other portfolios. So if we go right here, portfolio, right? This is the virtual account. Okay, so I'll get into that as well. Uh, you can actually copy traders and see what they're doing. So I thought, you know, I'm going to download eToro. I'm going to copy a list of traders that give you $100,000 virtual equity that you can play with. And this is, you know, you're not going to lose anything because it's not really real, really, really at the end of the day. So I started doing that. I wanted to see how people invest their money, what they invested in. A lot of these traders invest in long-term um, investments or put their money in long-term investments. Now, as you can see, this is what I'm doing. I didn't copy every single trader, but I generally thought, okay, I'm going to put $1,000 on what would be the investors with the highest return rate. And just kind of follow them, check on it from time to time, see what, what's going on, how it's going, and all sorts of things. And this is kind of what you're looking at right now. And then somehow, oh yes, I remember now, uh, a viewer kind of told me about Shiba Inu. And I'd said I'd look into it. I looked into it. 
I was very on the sidelines at first, right? Didn't know what to do. This is a, a brand new cryptocurrency. Yes, it's got promise. Everybody hypes it up. But then everybody wants to hype something new up so that they can cut their, get their own cut off of it. So that, you know, I took it with a pinch of salt. But as things progressed with this currency, and as things progressed with this cryptocurrency, I started to see that it does have a good background. It does have a good uh, community. It has plans, but just because it has big plans does not mean it's going to achieve them. Cryptocurrency is extremely volatile as a market compared to trading stocks, right? Not the same thing. They do use the same types of charts and stuff. So I thought, you know, I'm going to put in some money here with Shiba Inu. And this is where I bought it. I bought it at a really good price and it started to go up, up, up. Now that happened. If we go back to this chart right here just at the beginning of the bull run. So right here. Yeah, so I bought it, I think. There we go. This is where I bought in. And I noticed it started to go up and up and up. And I thought, you know what? I've got I've got this money lying around. I'm going to throw it into Shiba Inu. If I lose it, I lose it. I mean, this is money that I was planning on investing. So I put a couple of pennies in there. Okay, not pennies, but a couple of hundred dollars that I could afford. And it just kept going up and up and up. So I bought some more and then some more and then some more. Eventually, I did make a bit of a profit. Now, me being new, I ended up having a bit of a panic moment when it started to dip and sold out. But then equally at the same time, right, I did take all of my profits from Bitcoin and Ethereum and dumped it all into here. Now, I know you shouldn't do that uh, and not throw all your eggs in one basket. But bear with you. Yeah? And uh, basically... I did end up losing some money. However, at the end of it, when it started leveling out about here, I'm still breaking even with the potential chance of it going up. Now, yes, I made mistakes. You can criticize me if you want. Feel free. I criticize myself all day, every day. So it won't make a difference. You know, you can't criticize me more than I criticize myself. But I did go in it with an open mind, with the knowledge that I will lose some money. And I do want to learn to trade. So the best way to learn to trade is to have, I suppose, a bit of risk management, but also to experiment, right? On top of that, let me show you a couple of things that I've actually discovered. And like I said, I'm really excited about this because this has so much potential. I can do so much with this and I can definitely learn how to work with this platform and actually make a good profit off of it. Now, as I said, and I'll always say this, I am not a financial advisor. As you can see, probably from the quality of this video, I'm just coming to terms with it, right? But this is what I've come across. I'm going to share with you some things that I really, really like, right? This channel right here, this particular video, the ultimate cryptocurrency trading course for beginners. Like the, the first time I watched this, I think 20 minutes into it, I lost track of everything he was saying i was like oh this is well 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 thorough i'm well over my head you know I, but i just kept pushing on and eventually i started to remember more and more information i think i watched this video quite a few times i even liked it so this is one of the channels that i kind of subscribed to it because as you can see good knowledge right here and knowledge is power and you can turn that into profit in this world and I know you can right I'm still at the beginning of my journey uh, another channel I came across that was pretty decent or video is this chart reading patterns because this is what you need to be able to understand and I've watched and read a lot about these I'm still learning these chart reading patterns but I'm getting the hang of it okay this is getting better and the more I do this day in and day out I feel more and more confident because I was actually I went in with the fear of missing out and then I had a panic moment when everybody sold out but then on the same side I was trying to um, learn how to set a stop loss how to set a um, take profit that's the other one however silly me was doing it with the real money not the virtual money so that's how i lost my profit basically that's what you have to bear in mind this is what you need to take from the story i only lost my profit therefore i'm breaking even 
And you know what? I accept that. I went in knowing that I may lose some money. As long as I don't lose all my money, that's fine. That's how trading stocks and cryptocurrency work. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. And I'm at the beginning of the game. So, yes, I'm going to lose sometimes, probably more times. But, hey-ho, it is what it is. Now, another channel I want to point out that I like, and I've subscribed to this guy. I'm now watching his videos religiously. Like, honestly, if you want to get into something like this, this is your man right here. Uh, stock up with Larry Jones. This guy says it as it is. And you know what? I take my hat off to you because that's exactly what I want to hear. All right. Love this channel. Like the way this guy puts things into perspective. And finally, another channel that I'm watching. This is more for news and just to keep up with trends because you see I'm quite busy. So I can't quite follow the news. And it's funny because news actually impacts stocks and the value of cryptocurrency and right here keenan grace this guy is again really good really knowledgeable and these two channels combined with all the others that i'm watching do help me make an informed choice as i said i'm always on the move so i can't sit around uh, looking for news these guys bring it to me and i'm using that to make informed choices plus i do you know what i trust what they say and their judgment i think they have all good intentions to help the community. And as you can see, his last videos are also around Shiba Inu. The only reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I'm hyped up about it. I think this is going places. And do you know what? This is a new journey for me. This is a new learning experience. And I'm really into this. I really like it right now. And as I said, it's not because I've made money. Yes, I've made money and lost it. But I think there's a lot to learn here. And there's a lot once i've learned that i can share with people and the form of sharing my story around this little adventure this new adventure so hopefully things work out now the other thing i wanted to point out and this is as a side thing i'm gonna be so let's recap a little bit actually and go back to this right this is what i'm using right now it's etoro and this is quite important because i am in the uk um, the regulations within the UK and the EU, Europe in general, are actually quite different from everywhere else in the world. Um, so I can't use platforms like Webull, which I would love to, but unfortunately Webull does not work here because of all the regulations. I know this because I wanted to get a referral link from these guys and post it on the channel for those that are interested in playing around because especially they give uh, especially for the fact that they give you a hundred thousand dollars of virtual currency that you can play around with and kind of just get a hang of how things work but when i started reading how complicated things are and the things you must do and say i thought to myself you know what scrap that it's fine <laughs> i'm just doing this as a show for entertainment purposes and that's just that that that's all it's going to be i'm not going to do any uh partnerships or referrals for etoro that's just me right but it is also a very vast platform it offers a lot of things to trade so i like it for that reason and uh yeah it's actually probably the cheaper one as well to go with Going back to this, right, what I'm going to be doing and what I'm looking at doing, as you can see right here, you do have a watch list. My plan is as follows for the short and long term around this is to start off with the cryptocurrency because I started off with it because why not? You know, I'm not going to take my money out of cryptocurrency right now. However, once... And it's not uh, if it's wants, because I strongly believe that Shiba Inu will start to go on another bull run at some point in the future. Once that happens, I will take out my initial investment and then let the profit work for me. So once I've gotten basically what I put in, I'll take out what I put in and then I will then split that amount of money between cryptocurrency and of course um stocks the stocks i'm looking at as it currently stands will be stocks in companies such as tesla 
Microsoft, Apple, and then I probably have a sort of stock that I can play around with, or um, you know, if if I think it's gonna go up, I'll buy stocks into that company. When I think it's gonna go down, I'll sell it. This is something I need to figure out how it works on this platform because there's still a, a chance of losing some money. Basically, I want to try and give day trading a go, but I don't know if this platform actually facilitates that, if that makes sense, or short-term stocks. Let's just call it that, yeah? Now, why do I want to do that? Why do I want to go into stocks? Well, let's look at this right here. This is the all-time uh, chart for the stocks and stock prices in, what is this? Microsoft, yeah? So right here. Selling for peanuts, trading for peanuts, still peanuts, yeah? But just look what's happened in the last five years, right there. And as time progresses, it is my belief that this will just continue to go higher and higher and higher. The same thing you will notice with Tesla and Apple as well. So they are leaders in their market. I think this is from my perspective, and this is what I'm going to be doing with my money, right? I'm going to start putting money into these companies. I'm going to buy into these stocks because as they go higher and higher with time, their value will be higher. As you can see right here, just just from here, 2016, just under $100, 2021, right there. Almost $400 per share. That's a big, big profit right there. Um, now, it's not just for profit. But I see this as a long-term investment, a retirement fund, if you want to call it that. You know, I think this this is this is the this is what kind of brings me back to what I was saying. I think this is the kind of content that I was looking for here on the channel on type of gaming. I did want to make gaming videos, yes, and I'm just gonna continue making gaming videos, of course. But you know, guys, I've been looking for something else to put here on the channel. I just didn't know what. I've been trying different games, but it just didn't feel right. And I think this is what I'm going to be putting. This is the new type of content that I will be adding here on the channel in the long run. So expect going forward to see Conan Exiles, um, Arc Survival Evolved, and Stocks and Cryptocurrency, or at least my journey in it, okay? This is going to be kind of like a diary if that makes sense and what i'm doing with it what i think about it how i think it's going okay not financial advice and so this is where we're at at the moment so do expect more similar content in the future hopefully i get better at reporting these from my perspective okay not in the terms of news report okay <laughs> it's quite important because i'm going to be doing this my way and that brings us to the end of this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to see what your thoughts are in this area. Are you looking forward to it? Do you think um, you'd like to see this kind of content? You know, just let me know what you think. If, uh, if you don't like this content, then hit that dislike button. If you like this kind of content and want to see more stuff like this, then hit that like button. But let me know what you think, because I'm really hyped up about this. I cannot wait to learn more and actually get more and more into it. I think this is the coolest thing ever. Until next time, stay safe, folks.